609 is the time right now. We're keeping a close eye on the tropics at the moment because tropical storm watches have been issued for portions of Mexico and there's an increase. Uh, there's a risk of storm surge and damaging winds in Texas, Louisiana, that coast uh, there. Uh, thanks to tropical disturbances in the Gulf of Mexico that are uh, happening right now. Let's bring in Jonathan, in fact, to discuss the potential impact to the states. Yeah, and uh, in fact, the government of Mexico already issuing tropical storm watches in preparation for potentially tropical storm Francine later on today. Right now, it's potential tropical cyclone number six, but already issuing those watches right where you see that rain moving on shore in northeastern Mexico. And uh, flood watch is already posted for deep south Texas around Brownsville, Corpus Christi. These areas could see four to eight potentially 8 to 12 inches of rain that'll go all the way up into Mississippi as well as Louisiana. And I know from forecasting these storms since way back in 2002, the worst place to be is going to be on the eastern side of that track. So that's going to include places like potentially even Baton Rouge, Louisiana, New Orleans, and we could even see tropical storm force conditions impacting places like Brownsville as early as Tuesday. All the computer model tracks taking this northbound in pretty good agreement. Good clustering right here over the central and western portion of Louisiana. If you remember, Barrel in early July already impacting portions of Texas. They don't need more rain and wind, and it looks like they could get some, especially, again, deep south portions of Texas. And then on top of that, there's more out in the tropics. 70% chance of tropical development. We're heading towards a peak of hurricane season. We're basically in it at this point. So high chance of tropical development potentially here in the central Atlantic moving eastbound. And then there's also a medium chance of development right around the Cape Verde Islands, zooming its way off to the north and east. So that's something to watch again on top of potential tropical cyclone number six forecast to become Francine within the next 12 to 24 hours. I'm tracking chances of rain that could be moving in around here. There's not a whole lot, but I'll let you know when the chances will be greatest. That's coming up in just about four minutes. Plus your game time forecast for the commanders game, the home opener on Sunday in a few. Yes.